best for our patients. And we all want to inform patients about all of the risks um, that are suitable, that are appropriate to their care. It's often patients will ask us, well, how much of a risk is this for me? Is it one in a hundred, one in a thousand? Is it? And actually, I'm not sure that we do have that level of granularity in our data sets at the moment. And I would caution against fear mongering, um, where we, certainly we see a lot of anxious patients in respiratory medicine. And you could argue a case for doing harm by not giving the right and the correct data sets um, to, to our patients. So we really do need to look at what is the risk of developing certain diseases? What is the risk of deterioration in certain conditions? And we need to be able to package that information and give it to patients when we're asked for that information. And that is part of the consent process.